So MSNBC keeps airing this panel discussion. Someone sent it to me this morning and of course I started digging because when they do panel discussions on MSNBC, they are handpicking these people. So first up, we have Michael. Now let's go through the background of Michael. Michael is a member of the DSA, which is the Democratic Socialist of America. He does not represent your mainstream Democrats. This is his Twitter name. He goes by Comrade Co-Chair Councilman. He has signed on to this uncommitted pledge and he is not voting for Biden in the primary. Biden has a pathway forward. Biden has a pathway forward. It's not and what does that look like? That is him calling for a permanent media ceasefire. The straightforward, simple answer for the Biden administration is push for a ceasefire, stop aiding Israel in their war crimes, and I guarantee you there are enough people who would be willing to deal with it and vote for them. Next up is Khalid, who is running the Abandon Biden campaign. What we've learned about Khalid is that he was once on the terror watch list. He ended up fighting it and getting off, but that's a whole different story. He also was a George Bush supporter. Khalid said he wants to make Joe Biden a one-term president so that he could hurt him. Let me tell you something, you cannot hurt Joe Biden because Joe Biden will retire to Delaware and go to his house, have secret service, he'll be chilling. Meanwhile, all of us will be suffering. So what you're saying makes absolutely no sense, not to mention the Supreme Court impacts it could have. I'm willing to take short-term pain for a long-term gain. I'm willing to uh, uh, let go of Joe Biden and oppose Joe Biden, make him a one-term president punish Joe Biden by making him a one-term president and bearing his loss with the genocide in God. And then we have Little Miss Privilege Annie from Michigan, who cares more about Palestinians dying than she cares about Americans dying, women's rights, and all kinds of stuff that are impacting us. Is our democracy, why is having a Trump presidency more important than those people's lives? Yeah. Why is our democracy more important than thousands of men, women, and children being killed. F you, Annie. 